previously on Pure Red Nuzlocke. Okay now, which starter to pick? Like there was ever a doubt. Okay, Viridian Forest, give me a good one, come on. We find a Weedle. Go, Ekans, go! Yeah, and he's all level 14 Onyx. This is fine, we got it. Yes? Oh no, we lost Ekans. Before Mount Moon, we talked to this guy, and you get a Magikarp for only 500. What a bargain! And now, part 2. Hey, welcome back, as we pick up TM12. What is it? Aurora Beam. Nice. The first encounter in Mount Moon. Oh, and Magikarp knows Tackle and Bubble in this hack. Pretty cool. It's better than Splash. Anyways, we weaken the Coferi with B drill, and then we try to capture it. Alright, we got it! We continue to pick up every item and to battle wild Pokémon to train our Magikarp. And it's such a beast, look at this! Magikarp defeats a Rhyhorn. We are battling a Lass, which usually only has plant Pokémon, but here she has a Charmander. And we learn Firewall. Huh. I wonder what this move does. I have no idea. Let's try it on a wild Pokemon. Okay, let's use Firewall. Oh, it burns the target. Huh. Not sure how to feel about it. I guess it's an interesting move. Okay, TM40, what is it? Karate Chop. Let's teach it to... What? <laughs> how can B drill... How, how can they be... You know what? Let's not even question it. Just teach Bidru Karate Chop. Well, we find a Moonstone, so let's evolve the Clefairy, just in case. Time to battle the Super Nerd for the Fossil. Nice thing about having Dust Claw this early in the game. It's a ground move that's super effective against Poison, also super effective against Electric types. So this battle is even easier than normal. Oh, he has a Ditto. Okay, Dust Claw is strong against Fire too. But of course the opponent also has Dust Claw, so this battle is actually dangerous. But we win! We win and we take the Helix Fossil. But then the nerd interrupts me and says something about taking my fossil to the lab for me. It sounds like a scam, but I say yes anyways. Meet him in Saffron, he said. Okay, hope it works out. We fight these new NPCs, rookies, who are not in the original game. I'm not going to spoil their whole team, but it's pretty interesting. We get to Route 4, and we can finally get a new Pokemon. What will it be? Okay, level 10 Sentru. Not bad, not bad. Let's capture it. Alright, we got it. I wonder if the rare candy is still here. And who is this? Oh, you're the fishing guru. No, I don't like to fish. Okay, so we are grinding. We find a level 12 Squirtle, which I'd rather have over the, the Sentru, but... What you gonna do, right? We got unlucky. And as we grind for a million years, let me remind you to consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And maybe even leave a comment about how awesome Magikarp is. It helps with the almighty algorithm. Bidru goes up to level 17 and learns Wing Attack. Nice, nice. I really like the improved move pools in this game. We have many more options. For example, it is so great to have Bubble on the Magikarp. And as our dear Magikarp dispatches Wild Sentru after Wild Sentru, it finally levels up! It is now level 20! Yes! We have a Gyarados! That's awesome! Now we can finally go to the gym. And with Gyarados should be a really easy one. Let's see what the first swimmer has. A horsey, yeah, that's so weak. Oh, and a shelter, yeah. 
Gerdes should just obliterate. Ooh, an Abra, that's uh, uh, unexpected. But it's still pretty weak. I guess nothing is predictable, right? Game is trying to keep us on our feet. Oh, this junior trainer has two Pokemon. Her usual Goldeen. What is the other one? A Psyduck. Okay, this gym is not going to be hard. We did a good job grinding. I think we're ready for Misty, right? I'm scared, but yeah, we should be ready. In game time is a billion hours, we are not even trying to be fast. Okay, let's go. Oh, her Stario is actually level 22. It's somewhat stronger than usual. Oh wow, the, the bubble beam. And I kept bedrewing there. It could have died. It could have easily died. I was not careful enough. Okay, I sent Mankey to be sacrificed. Sorry, Mankey. But in hindsight, did, did I really need to do that? I mean, what can Misty do against Gyarados? Basically nothing, right? Oh, the Starm is actually level 23. But yeah, still hopeless against Gyarados. Anyways, easy battle, easy gym, easy badge, Gyarados levels up. TM11, still bubble beam. Gyarados can learn that. Oh, this reminds me. Gyarados can probably learn TM12 too. Aurora beam. Alright, we have a sick early move set. We need to deposit the Mankey now. Bye, Mankey. You know what time it is, right? It is time for rival number two. Let's see what he has for us. Okay, rival opens Pidgeotto. Aurora Beam is a one-shot. Execute, also a one-shot. Hmm, Pikachu. Lightning is double super effective against Gyarados. Let's switch. Oh god, does everything have Dust Claw? It feels like every Pokemon gets Dust Claw. Anyway, Charmeleon destroys Pikachu. Now his final is War Turtle. It's currently level 17. Should be easy. We are over leveled. Maybe this battle was designed to be before Misty. Probably, I don't know. Anyways, we win, we're on Route 24, and we find a Staryu. It's a level 8 Staryu, it's a little weak, so we don't capture it. The game continues its unpredictability thing, and this hiker has a Sparrow. We are battling every NPC for XP, you know? Oh, and the hiker has a Charmander too. We are also being super careful, always healing with potions and getting every item, like this one. TM30, what is it? Mega Drain! That could be useful, we'll save it for later. I'm starting to get more comfortable as we battle this last and Gerdus just destroys everything. It goes up to level 25 and it learns Dragon Rage. What a beast, Gerdus. Absolute beast. After talking to Bill and getting the ticket, we have to fight the rocket and recover the dig TM. He has a leaky tongue, strangely enough. Wow, this leaky tongue is strong. Learn rage. I'm sure they improved Rage, but no, no thanks. Okay, this Drowsy should not give us much trouble. Yeah, easy, easy. And we have TM28. It's still Dig. Let's teach that to Charmeleon. I don't really care for Firewall, so replace that. Alright, going south, Route 5. There are new NPCs here to fight. Really cool additions to the game. And we find a level 15 Farfetch'd. So awesome. Let's try to capture it. Hmm, I wonder if it's strong enough to take out Beedrill. One more try. Third time is the charm. Yeah, we got it. Welcome to the team Farfetch'd. 
Let's leave Farfetch'd at the daycare for now. Alright guys, hope you liked this challenge so far. Let me know in the comment section. Consider a like and subscribe. And make sure to check out part 3. See you there!